Hi, my name is Paige. And my name is Samantha. And we will be presenting Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. About the viral disease, the scientific name is the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. It's transmitted to humans when in contact with infected ticks or animals. Its location was the Crimean in 1944. The symptoms are include but are not limited to headaches, fever, vomiting, back, joint, and stomach pain. The rest of the exposure is mostly with people that are in contact with animals. The main idea of the article is a fatal case of CCHF being confirmed in Western Spain in August of 2018. What makes this case different than the others is it was caused by a different genotype called a reass reassortment virus than the genotype of a previous case found in 2016, which contradicts with other CCHF cases in native countries. A reassortment virus is a mixing of genes between two organisms that make a new genetic sequence. CCHF is a zoonotic disease, which is a disease transmitted from animals to humans. The CCHF virus can be transmitted to humans by hyaloma ticks and by direct contact with infected bodily fluids or tissues from viremic, which is the presence of viruses in the bloodstream, livestock, or humans. The ticks' migratory routes are between Europe and Africa, typically passing through Spain. Information for this new strain of CCHF is important for data involving genetic sequences, which will help keep track of infection in humans, develop new tools for detection, and provide future information on how CCHF circulates and spreads. Next slide. The experimental method used in this article was CCHFV diagnostic testing. The diagnostic testing was performed by using a real star CCHFV RT-PCR kit 1.0. Reverse transcription PCR, also known as RT-PCR, is used to diagnose CCHFV in the first 10 to 12 days after the first onset of symptoms appear. Clinical symptoms and signs are not always clear and a clinical diagnosis of the disease is very difficult. This kit is more widely available than viral culture and is one type of a molecular diagnostic test done in a laboratory study, setting. This test is based on real-time PCR technology to detect CCHF virus-specific RNA. It is a type of technology that uses reverse transcriptase reaction to convert RNA into cDNA, where the polymerase chain reaction, PCR, is used to target specific sequences and specific probes for the identification of amplified DNA. The test is invalid if the run has not been completed or if the control conditions for a sustainable diagnostic test are not met. The case in this article confirmed the man had CCHF by using two methods. The first being reverse transcription PCR, which was slightly modified to add an internal control for amplification and a nested reverse transcription PCR. The results of his test were then later confirmed by the World Health Organization Collaborating Center. RT-PCR provides excellent sensitivity and specificity, a low contamination risk, high performance speed, and is a great alternative to conventional culture-based or immunoassay-based testing that is typically used to diagnose many infectious diseases. Next slide. In the results, the black dots indicate the nodes with the posterior probabilities. The bold face indicates CCFHV strains from Badajoz 2018 from Spain. The arrowheads are going to indicate other isolated cases from Spain. The Roman numerals are indicating the genotypes. Bazin phylogenetic trees show the genetic relationship among CCHFV based on the complete small, medium, and large segment sequences. The strain Bata has 2018 belongs to genotype 3. However, the S segment is closely related to the sequences of genotype 4 and shares the highest identity with the strains from BT958 from the Central African Republic and IBAN7620 from Nigeria. Conclusion In conclusion, the sequence analysis indicated that there was a CCHFV that were genetically different from the ones found in Spain. The viruses detected in humans and ticks had a circulation of genotype 3 virus, but the recent virus was detected with a reassortment in S the S segment. The results showed that two virus genetic lineages were circulating in Spain. This indicated that there was at least two introductions that had occurred during that time. 
This fatal virus did not modify the risk of exposure or infection by CCHFV in Spain, being that the risk factors were still considered relatively low. This data provides new information about the dynamic of CCHFV's circulation and spread, making it easier to diagnose in future cases. And this is our work cited.